Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the definition of the derivative. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals 4x squared plus 1, and we need to find the, def or the derivative using the definition of the derivative. So our function here, well, we're using our definition right there. We want to find f prime of x, or y prime, and that's equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of our function right here, our function 4 squared plus 1, and the parentheses, we're going to put the x plus h in instead of our x value, x plus h. Then we're going to subtract that by our original function, 4x squared plus 1, and all that's going to be over an h. Okay, now we have to do some things to hmm, simplify this. Uh, f prime of x, oh, I don't need to write that, but I do need to write the limit part. I always do that. So, we have the limit here as h approaches 0. Now let's go simplify where we can. The 4 can stay out front. And we have, well, what's this inside all square? Multiply it by itself. You might be able to see it, but remember, that's like an x plus h here times an x plus h. All right. x times x is an x squared. And then we have an x times an h, and h times an a, uh, x is a 2xh, and then h times h, h squared. Then we still have the plus 1. Now we're subtracting, distribute the minus sign, a minus 4x squared, and then a minus a 1. All that is over h again. Let's keep this gravy train going at the limit as h approaches 0 here. Now, what I like to do is distribute this part here out. Let's try to get as much as we can, and then we can cancel some stuff. 4 times x squared is a 4x squared. 4 times a 2x squared, is, or 2xh, is an 8 x h and then we have an 4 h squared. We still have the plus 1. Now we're minusing, okay, uh, minusing a 4 x squared and minus a 1 all over that h. Now here's where the magic happens. 4 x squared cancels right here. Plus 1 and minus 1 cancel. And what do we have in the numerator? Well, we can rewrite that up here. So let me just continue this right here. We're still going to take the limit as h approaches 0, and we have an 8xh plus a 4h squared, and that's all over h. Well, notice we can cancel something out. We have an h here in the denominator, cancel out this one in the numerator, and the squared right there. So now that we've canceled out the h's, what are we left over with? Well, we have the limit as h approaches 0 of an 8x plus a 4h. And now we can take the limit. We plug the limit in, we can directly put 0 in for h, and we have an 8x plus a 4 times a 0. And well, what's a 4 times a 0? Zero? 0. So we're left with an 8x here, and that's equal to our dy dx. And so our final answer here is just an 8x. I hope this video is helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.